Here we are on Vans on Video, correct? <laughs> this is a newer addition to our uh, fleet. I got this for Colleen, and uh, the van was built by Mark Han. Uh, it started off as a where we wanted to get a red van about three years ago, and a friend of mine in Buckeye Van Association uh, found the red Astro that I was getting ready to bid on. And from that time on, I was looking for a solid red van. Uh, this is originally, this is actually my wife Colleen's RV. So that's uh, an old joke from way back at how I started to become, I got my name RV from red vans. I've had a lot of red vans. Okay, it's a 1995 GMC. Uh, it's got a 4.3 V6 in it, which I really like because it gets great gas mileage. Runs good. Uh, it has over 50 mo body modifications done to it. I don't know it completely in detail because uh, Mark has not sent me the, the list yet, but I can do my best on showing you what is, has been done. Uh, the door handles have been Frenched in. They're molded in. Inside, it's got a beautiful interior, gauge package. Overhead console, CB that we'd used coming here. <laughs> Love the CB. All right, we'll start from the front. As you can see, these are old Beauville lights, uh, marker lights. They've been reversed. They've been put in from the inside instead of the outside. Uh, the hinges have been removed and hidden. Flares are molded in. Running boards have been built for the van, they're, they're molded in. Uh, the drip rail has been carved down to fit the, the visor. Front rear bumper is molded in. And he told me to use some kind of end caps off of a, an older Chevy for the bumpers. They're, they're actually the original bumpers for the van, but they did change end caps on the back one. And he kind of thought it was nice since it was, has dual uh, gall wings. If the gas filler lid opened up with the gall wings, like the gall wings. Originally, they opened up this way. Nice job on the interior. The bed's made nice for, put the angle in it so they had the extra foot space right there in the corner so you can lay completely across. It's got dual sunroofs in the front. The, Sunroof in the rear. I thought this was kind of cool here. I don't know if it's illegal to hide your license plate, but he put the a tow hitch underneath the license plate with your plug and hit it so that you can't see it. It's got the roll pan, which is fairly rare nowadays. I know he's got the J and J fiberglass patents. I think that was part of their package deal. Tail lights are out of a Cadillac but I couldn't tell you what year there were. Plenty of sport, storage space in the side, underneath. Okay, we got the interior, it's hardwood floor, done very well. I just uh, added the new wrap around floor mat. I had to order a special order that. It's got GMC in, uh, embroidered on the inside. We got uh, the ceiling lights built in. Front and rear, I mean, on the roof, and then it's got the bed lights, there's four in each, one in each corner. And uh, ice box, cabinets, drink tray, which is put in there pretty well, actually. <laughs> Sit on the bed and use it. Okay, doors. Door handles painted? Yeah, color coded door handles. Color-coded snack tray, everything inside has been color-coded. Okay, as you see, the antenna was Frenched in. Front bumper is molded in with the front spoiler. Now, the grill is not a factory grill. Mark took three pieces of grill and 
kind of like uh, plastic welded them together and made it fit. I don't really know what it's out of. Looks good though. <laughs> yeah, right, there you go. Okay, this is a little trick that he made here. It makes it a little different. It's got the functional ram air and built into the hood. And the hood folds up to the front. And it makes it easy to get in here. All you gotta do is take off these two two bolts on each end and take the hood off and you can work on it, whatever you want to do to it. It's out of the way. Okay, the, the windshield wipers was a uh, place, the factory windshield wipers, he had one motor that went back and forth. He used two motors, one on each uh, windshield wiper so that they, they're independent of each other. Okay, when, we, when I purchased a van off a of market, it had uh, black stripes that started out real wide, came back to a skinny point. Uh, Colleen wants to theme the van Lady in Red and Cooper's coming out in November for the turkey, uh, turkey run. And he's gonna do the paintwork on both sides, for Lady in Red with Rose. And as you can see, we removed the, the black stripes. Okay, here's the proud owner. She's a little shy, so she didn't want to do the interview. And she's happy with her new van. 